In this video, we're going to go over some of the recent changes and improvements and enhancements made to the design system inside a command. So here I am in designs, and these are my templates. Um, there's two ways to get to your design system. You can either click on one of your templates to go into it or click the plus sign. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to come to social and the big change isn't here in command. The big change is going to be in the design system. So I'm going to say create design. This is going to take us into the WeBrand system who we partnered with to build this. And this is where you're going to see the big change. So you still have your templates like normal. Go and explore them. You have tons of new templates in here. And then you have a new option now that says my designs. This is the new section. So now you have the ability to come in here and access all of your previous designs that you've made. Um, what's neat is a lot of you have requested the ability to create a duplicate or make more options of something. So I can come in here and let's say I want to duplicate this I not only have the option to edit I can duplicate this and make another version of it so I never lose my original I can also view it or delete it which is great if you want to clean things up in here you've also got the option to go to the templates which really just takes you back here and my favorite new tool is the ability to import PDFs and edit them. So you'll see I've got a couple options where I uploaded a PDF and I was actually able to make changes and modify it. This is a really neat feature. So I'm actually going to explore how that works for you. So we're going to import a PDF file. I'm going to go ahead and see what do I have in here that could work. That was a letter we just wrote. Um, do, 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 do. That was my local expert. So I'm going to actually use this one. This is a letter I actually made inside of command for door knocking, and I want the ability to edit it. So the cool thing about this tool is you're going to be able to import maybe a previous marketing PDF or something, and then go in and actually edit and change things. So we're going to go ahead and open that one. It takes it a few seconds to upload, and then we'll have the ability to edit it. So here's the little upload counter. In the lower right hand corner, it's going to check it for fonts. In the event it can't match the fonts, by the way, it'll ask you to choose. So I've had that happen to me where it made me choose some fonts. It might give you a little warning message telling you that there might be some things that it couldn't figure out or warnings, which I believe will be around the fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one, and it's going to ask me when you select the unit for PDF, what is the correct measurements you want them in? Pixels, inches, millimeters. So I typically stick with pixels. You can also do inches. And this is now going to open up the document for me to edit. Here's what it noticed. There are some mask or gradients in there, so it'll get uh, raster size, not supported. Okay, so anything that might be a gradient could be an issue. That's okay, so we're gonna come here and edit it. This is going to open it up. Now remember, this is a PDF, not a design, even though I previously made this design in here. And here's what's gonna be neat. I'm actually able to click on things, so look, I can actually change the text. Again, this is a PDF, not something that I'm creating from scratch in here. I'm uploading a document I've already created, and it does allow me to change the text. So here's what will be neat. When I have this now for December, I can start working on my December version of it and have it for December. I've got my logo here. Guess what? I can delete or replace that logo. I can change the text in this box. It took my PDF and everything can be modified, which is really cool. This is an image I'm going to change out. Here's a text box when our median sales price changes or our average listing price changes. This is so neat that it's a real PDF. I uploaded it here and look at every component of this is now editable to change things out. I can change the background. I can get rid of some of these pieces. I can change the color if I want to. So let's say I wanted this box to be blue instead of the red. I can come in here and choose my library colors. Maybe I'll make that one there and then I'll make this box the dark blue. And just like that, I'm taking my original piece. I've got my logos here. That stuff's gonna change. Maybe I wanna change the color of this text. And I'm able to come in here and actually modify this PDF and change some of the stuff with it. So how neat is that? And when you're done, you just file and save. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of there. Now I've got that template of a PDF to use again and again. This is gonna be so neat. I would recommend if you've got previous designs or anything you've worked on to test that tool out, upload it. I'm gonna go back, create social, get back to my designs. And here it is, there's the template that I uploaded as a PDF. See how it says PDF there, and I'm able to edit it. How cool is this? You've also got the ability now to organize stuff, so you can create a new folder and put things in folder. So maybe I want one for my local stats, 
and I can say OK here. And now I can drag these items into my local stats folder. That way I'm kind of cleaning up everything I've got. This is also local stats, so I'm going to put that document in here. And then you can start organizing things by what they are. Here's the original, not in PDF, the actual design. So I'm going to upload that into here. And now in that folder, I've got my three files. So it's just a great way to kind of organize your designs. You can use the templates like normal, and now you can edit or delete any of these. And more importantly, you can now upload a PDF and modify it and edit it, which is really exciting. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on Kibit Connect or YouTube today.